I, I guess I'm the one, so I'll start. When we spoke to you in training last time, you said that trying to finish in that th in the final third of the field was important. First half, no shots. A lot changed in the second half. What changed the most? Um, we, we spoke at half time about where we felt some of the gaps were on the pitch. Um, great effort. Great effort second half. Um, the goal come at a really good time for us. Um, unlike the fireworks in this interview, but come at a really good time. We were really happy with that. And it would have been nice to have test, tested the goalkeeper a little bit more, but I felt like the chances we did create were quality chances. The goal was great. Um, really proud of the players. What do you think about Jimmy's performance in goal tonight? Obviously those two early, but he seems to get his reads and even feed the offense a little bit. Yeah, Jim was great. Jim was great tonight. Made, made some big saves when he was called upon. Um, his distribution as well was very good. Can you talk about a little bit about how far, I mean, it was a tough fought match. Can you talk about how far, you know, the Hartford Athletic and, as a club have come from its inception four years ago? Oh, well, I just think you've just got to look at it tonight. I mean, you know, the place was packed. You know, we've, we're playing against a really, really good MLS outfit. Um, you know, we're in the top part of their league. Um, and we've competed with them. We've competed. We've made a game of it. I felt like our, you know, our fans really got behind us again. Um, and you know, we've made a game of it. And it's it's really important that we compete in every game like that. But talking about a club that's just been a start up and now is you know filling out a stadium and exciting people and exciting the city. That's what we want. What would you tell coach? What would you tell? Would you tell your team in the second half they got things going and things got a little more interesting? Um, needed to be braver, needed to play a little bit higher up the pitch, we needed to be more physical, um, we needed to, to let them know that we were on the pitch as well, that was really important. Um, and then with our decision making it needed to be more ruthless and cutthroat. And then it was about don't panic, if it's 2-0 after 70 minutes it's fine, we get a goal, the crowd will take us over the line. And we got a fantastic goal and the crowd did exactly that, started to sort of you know, breathe more life into the game. Um, and there was a couple of chances at the end and you know maybe you get a couple of decisions from the referees go the other way and you never know but again can't fault my players players were great coach allowing that first goal has been a problem area for you guys what, what do you change how do you change that going forward don't let the first goal in right okay that's short sweet to the point i like that Eunice had a shot off the post what's going through your mind in that moment is that just more of the we can come back and win this yeah, I mean, I was right behind it. He probably hit it too well, to be honest. Um, probably a centimetre to the, to the side. It goes post and possibly comes back off the goalkeeper's hand and goes in. Um, created another really good chance with Joel in the box. Thought, I thought when we changed the shape to a 4-3-3 and started to exploit them down the sides, we looked much better. Listen, fair play to them. They did their homework on us, gave us a lot of respect, put a strong team out, stopped us from being us in the first half. Um, and then in the second half, we just took it by the scruff of the neck again, and, and we were Hartford. And then um, quick turnaround play against Saturday. What do you need to do heading into that one? Win the game. Need to win the game. Um, boys are in there. They need to take confidence from the second half performance against a really good side. Um, we need to recover correctly, and then we need to go again on Saturday. Hey, what do you say about uh, Danny Barrera's performance tonight? Danny was brilliant. Danny's a, Danny's a big game player. Um, I never have to worry about the skipper turning up on nights like this. Started to pull the strings in the second half, um, wherever he was on the pitch. Good deliveries into the box. Brilliant assist. Um, and he, he was great, led from the front as usual. Did you learn anything about this team tonight with this performance against an upper level competition? No. And, and my answer is no, because I know how good we are right. and I know how good we can be. Um, we, just need to, we just need to now start to show it and we need people to believe in us a little bit more. I want, I want people to come with the same energy when we start winning. That's really important because at the minute, you know, there's questions being asked, which rightfully so. But, you know, we need to be supported correctly. Um, and when we start winning games, people will, you know, they'll change their opinions and they'll say, hey, this, this is a good team. We're arriving in the final third a hell of a lot creating great chances, cutting quality teams open like that, creating chances, it's just about putting them in the back of the net and rewarding ourselves with good play. But no, I think it's coming, I think it will turn. I believe in the group, the group believes in itself and you see that in the second half tonight. It would, it would have been easy to fold and lose that game 4-0, but we didn't, we kept going forwards.